Hi guys, you can see at the back of me, we are constructing the bridge. You can see that we are pouring concrete into the pier with the help of the crane. You can see how we are floating the concrete. So please watch this video completely in order to understand this concept of the construction of bridge. So first of all you can see that we are doing the piling work, we are doing the drilling in order to construct the piles for the abutment as well as for the piers. All this piling work is done in a way that we achieve a depth in which we reach the hard soil so that our load can be transferred and we avoid any settlement of the soil. This drilling will continue until we reach the hard soil below the ground. So you can see how the drilling machine is working here and doing the drilling for the piles of this bridge. The reinforcement bar had also been placed. You can see they are being placed for the piles. When this procedure goes on we remove the soil and then later on we cast concrete to construct the piles so after the drilling work you can see that we have started pouring concrete we are using the transit mixer to pour concrete inside these piles here the total depth of our piles was kept at 27 meters so it depends the ground and how you are going to achieve the hard soil so depending on that hard soil you can do the casting of your concrete for the piles. After the construction of piles as well as the pile caps, you can see the pile caps there. On top of it we place the reinforcement bars for the pier and now we are placing the form work for the piers. You can see we are using edge beam these edge beams are having the length of 3.9 and 2.9 meters apart from it we are also going to use 2x4 for the support of this shuttering building jacks can also be used in order to provide support at an angle so that the shuttering cannot be disturbed you may see here this is the other pier which had been constructed before we are still keeping the shuttering support so that the structure remain safe here you can see the shuttering had been completed edge beam plywood acro jack had been placed now you can see that we are pouring concrete into this pier again with the help of the crane you can see that the pier is ready now we are constructing the pier cap after placing the formwork, we are going to cast concrete in the pier cap. Here you can see that we are casting concrete into the abutment. For this, we had already placed the shuttering. With the help of transit mixer, we are casting concrete. You can see that the concrete is going inside the concrete pump and it is pumping the concrete. The total volume which we consume here for concrete was approximately 80 cubic meters for the reinforcement of this abutment we had used y16 as well as y12 mm bars and we maintain the spacing of 200 millimeters from center to center so alternatively you can see here how we are using the concrete pump to pour this concrete if you do not have the crane to offload and pour concrete then you can also use this concrete pump in order to cast the concrete as such both methods can be applied while casting the concrete here I would like to inform you that we use the concrete mix ratio of C35 for each cubic meter we use approximately seven and half bags of cement after casting concrete into the abutment you can see the formwork had been removed and these are the small concrete risers on which we are going to 
place the beams. You may see here that apart from the abutment, we have also placed the concrete risers on top of these piers. After the placement of these risers, you can see that we are doing the launching of these concrete beams on top of these risers. You may see here that the beams had been placed and now the iron benders are working to put the reinforcement bars of diaphragm beams. You can see on the other side also reinforcement bars are being placed for the diaphragm beams. Later we shall cast concrete for these diaphragm beams. After placing the shuttering for these beams, you may observe here that for this span we are using four beams, four number of beams. Similarly for all the spans we shall be using the same four number of beams. We are having five spans in this bridge. So as such we shall be having 20 number of these beams. So guys this was the first part of this construction of bridge. I shall come up with another part in which I shall explain to you how we shall place the beams as well as the slabs. Here you can see that we have also started placing the shuttering for the diaphragm beams. So guys this is it for today. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions or comments you may let me know. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until my next video. Goodbye.